Yeah, great. So it is a very big nodule. You can see tons of pigment, uh, weird scanning artifact here. But as it comes into view, you can see it. Uh, with all the pigment, you could think about, uh, you know, at first glance, a deep penetrating nevus, maybe cellular blue nevus, pigmented epithelioid melanocytoma, aka animal type melanoma, aka epithelioid blue nevus. Uh, those are things that can be very heavily pigmented. And I think going closer, that would be a consideration that you might think about down in here because you've got big epithelioid cells, plump, pretty atypical as they come into focus. This scans a little out of focus, I think because of all the pigment, I think it made it harder for the scanner to pick up. Uh, but you can see they're big, they're atypical. Epithelioid have big nucleoli in nests and kind of long plump fascicles, tons of melanophages in between, right? Um, also some melanin in the cytoplasm. So you could think about that. That would be one consideration. And so uh, pigment epithelial melanocytomas, uh, again, uh, called by several different names, that'd be one consideration. And I find those kind of challenging to diagnose, but one important thing is that they usually have a uh, loss of what, what uh, marker is a, a gene and we have a protein that we can test for. It's uh, PARCAR1A1 um, and that's, remember those are the ones that are associated with Carney's syndrome and the gene for that is PARCAR1A1, uh, which you can remember park your car in the garage for Carney's. So anyway, so you can do an immunostain for that. So uh, that's, but that's not what this is, but I think that'd be an important differential looking at this. The key here is look at the top. But when you go up here to the surface of this lesion, it's obviously melanoma, right? There's tons of nests consuming the epidermis, eating their way through the epidermis, pagetoid spread up in here. Again, very atypical. There's mitotic figures. I've passed over a couple. Again, it's a little out of focus. but So that's always an important thing is when you see a melanocytic lesion, make sure you check out what's going on in the junction because a lot of times that can kind of give you uh, clues to what the lesion actually is. So this is just an example of a very heavily pigmented melanoma. Some people could could say that this is like a blue nevus like melanoma, although I don't really think so because the cytology is not like a blue nevus. Uh, but I think you could you could find people um, using terms like that because it's so heavily pigmented. And sometimes the heavily pigmented lesions can be a little challenging, especially when the pigment obscures the uh, cytologic detail. Here we can actually see the cytology and it is not good. All right, so melanoma with a bunch of pigment. Whoa, uh, artifact.